In today's video, I'll show you a very simple momentum-based signal that you can use. This is nothing more than two EMAs crossing, so nothing fancy, but using this with context in mind makes this a very powerful momentum-based signal. Now, for those of you that have already seen the V-shaped reversals uh, playlist that we made, this dived into the setup a little bit more, and we talked about this cup pattern, this will make a lot of sense, and you'll find this momentum signal to be a useful addition. If you haven't already seen that, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. It's completely free and should hopefully give you a little bit more context to this video and make sense of everything. Now for those that did see it, a quick recap. So here I have the extended Keltner channels indicator loaded on. Those are these wedges, which tells us price is outside of the 3.0 Keltner channel. I have our volatility box models loaded on. I have the edge signals indicator loaded on, which is our overbought oversold confirmation. And I have this indicator that we can write the code for together, but it's looking at nothing more than a 3 and an 8 EMA cross and using that as our means of momentum. In fact, if we take a look at the setup inside of MasterCard, and I'll show you another one in JP Morgan, that should hopefully help give you an idea of how to use this as a momentum-based signal. Now first, let me pull in our live scanner. This is our stock volatility box live scanner, and I'm on the overlap tab where we look for hourly plus daily volatility breaches at the same time. Now there, we had one interesting stock today, which is MasterCard. We also had JP Morgan, which hit the scanner as well. These were some of the larger names on the overlap tab. And if you say come into even the daily tab, you can find many, many more stocks, ETFs that uh, appeared on the scanner today. Now let's focus in on MasterCard and JP Morgan here first. Now in MasterCard, step number one is context. We had the live scanner tell us that, hey, MasterCard has breached the hourly and daily models. And we're looking for price action here to essentially start to stabilize. And we're looking for a bounce away from our volatility models. So that's step number one. We had context with regards to volatility. Now, step number two is the beginning portion of the V-shaped reversal setup. We had multiple of these Keltner channel wedges plotting. Those wedges stopped plotting, which told us that price action is trying to get back inside of that 3.0 uh, band within it. So that was part number two. We had the Keltner channel wedges plotting, and we then had them stop plotting. Part number three, we had the edge signal confirmation. That's this green arrow right here, which told us that, hey, price action's officially in overbought or oversold territory, excuse me here. So we had the green arrow. If you don't have access to the edge signals, something you might find as a useful alternative, the RSI with the breakout signals turned on gives you very similar ideas, a bit more signals, a bit more noise, but should still help with the overall idea of overbought, oversold moves. And then finally, step number four, which in this case happened on the same candle, is this blue dot. That's where the three EMA crossed above the eight. If I actually turn each one of those moving averages on, you can see that a little cleaner. And that's when this dot plots, which tells you that, hey, we're now expecting momentum to shift for price to go away from the volatility box zones essentially, in this case, a bullish setup, and we're looking for momentum to really be backing that move. So the end idea, price breaches our volatility box zones, in this case, both the hourly and daily models. We start to uh, stabilize here with regards to the Keltner channels. We then start to have our overbought, oversold confirmation, and that's supported with an EMA cross. And you can kind of see the move that takes place after that, where there's little heat involved. Another example, JP Morgan, so inside of JP Morgan, same idea here, appears on the overlap tab. We even touched the conservative models down here. Wedges forming, one, two, three. They stop forming. Edge signal confirmation once and twice. So two different times we get the notion that, hey, we're officially now in oversold territory. We have the momentum signal finally go off when that three EMA crosses above the eight EMA, really telling you that that shorter term momentum is now changing and in this case for a move away from the volatility box zones. So hopefully this helps to bring together that idea. Let me share the code for this moving average crossover. I'll leave a link to it in the description box as well, but it's fairly simple here. We have defined each one of the two EMAs, first by length so that the user can change it, then by actual uh, plots on our chart so we see these lines. So they're connected to the three and the eight. The cyan one is the three EMA. The eight EMA is the yellow line on our chart. And we get this little dot plotting anytime 
uh, the three crosses above the eight, that's a blue dot. And anytime the e uh, three crosses below the eight EMA, then we'll see this red dot above the high. So it's a simple EMA cross. If you want to hide the lines, just uh, click uh, show plot and turn that off for each one of the EMAs. And that then allows you to keep your charts a bit cleaner, but still have a very useful, in my opinion, momentum signal, especially for those of you looking for moves away from our volatility box zones. The scanner really becomes your own personal way of essentially finding new setups. And this updates every, what, second, less than a second now. We've improved the speed there even more with new opportunities in the marketplace. Hopefully, for those of you that have seen either the V-shaped reversal course or you are looking for new setups, this gives you another idea of essentially creating a setup in which we have price action bouncing into key zones. We have specific triggers and we even have a momentum based trigger, which tells you when you expect price action to really get going. Hope this video was helpful. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading and I'll see you in the next update.